My name is Robert with Web Developer Ninja, and today I want to talk with you about continuous deployment and how with using Heroku's feature pipelines, I'm able to have a really good continuous deployment workflow um, with my app. And you don't necessarily have to be super smart DevOps guy uh, to get this set up either. So I kind of want to show you the workflow and then uh, more videos down the line, I'll show you how I set up this pipelines feature. So. Um, you can see here, this is at Heroku, and this is actually kind of like what the pipelines looks like once you're set up. And on the right, this is our uh, production Heroku app. Then we've got a staging environment right here. And then we've got something really cool over here called review apps, which each time that you push a branch up to GitHub and create a pull request, a specific review app environment is going to be created for just that pull request change. And it's gonna allow you to, as a developer, make sure to test your code really well and um, run it through the process of development, uh, QA, testing, and then finally deploying to um, production with uh, one button click. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you kind of the workflow of adding a new feature. And I'm over here at Source Tree because it helps you kind of visualize what's going on with our branches. And um, first thing that you do is you pull down the latest from develop and um, first, I want to notice here, we have two branches, develop and we have master. And how it's set up now is anything that gets merged into master through a pull request is going to be deployed right to, to production. And develop is actually tied to that staging environment. So when we create a pull request to develop, it's going to automatically deploy to staging. So we're going to branch off of develop and we're going to say new feature, new feature. And um, we're not going to do anything too fancy. We're actually just going to write a stupid JavaScript comment in my node file. Heroku pipelines is the bomb. And there is our um, there's our comment. And we're going to come back to source tree, and you can see uncommitted changes and. Um, we just added this, so we're actually going to stage all, commit, and we're going to say new feature. We're going to say added comments, commit. And normally this would be much more code, just like a feature set you're you're adding to your app. And now we're going to come to. So now we're actually going to push that branch up to GitHub. So we're going to push up new feature, let this do its thing, and now we're going to go over to GitHub, let's see here, GitHub, and you can see here's our um, new branch, and then we're going to want to compare and create a pull request, uh, new feature, create pull request, and normally Normally, you'd want to have uh, this happen. Let's see. You would want to have other developers like merge your pull requests and all that. But um, so we have our pull requests. Now we're going to come over to here and we can see uh, review apps that Heroku knew that we pushed up that branch and we created a pull request with the code changes. So what it's doing is it's copying and creating an environment exactly like production with those extra changes. And uh, we're built here, so we're gonna click this drop down arrow thing and open app and browser. And now you can see um, the, the URL is tool stage PR 14, whatever, Heroku app login. And um, this is an environment uh, that has the latest code and the code that the developer, me in this case, is wanting to merge into production. And this allows me to go take uh, double check, poke around the app, um, do my own dev QA, dev testing kind of thing, make sure nothing's broken, and um, then we're good to go. So that's so we have this review app, and then say we want to confirm and merge this pull request. And this pull request we're actually merging into master, so this is could go right to production. But that is so we have this. We've tested. Say we've as a developer, we sent around this link to all maybe some friends who are QA testing it or your, your actual testers. Um, once that passes, when you confirm merge and actually merge this, 
We're gonna come back here, and this gets deleted, and I, this should be deploying right now, or it's on staging, nope. It should be, okay, so it's building, I just had to wait. Let's see here. Okay, so you, as you can see, we're building the app right now on production. And we deployed. So that's that's kind of how the review apps works. Um, the staging environment is everything that's merged back into develop. So this time we did a pull request off master, but to get it to go to staging, um, you would just create a pull request onto your your develop branch. So that's kind of how, like this weekend, I actually just got this uh, pipelines feature up. Before, I just had a production environment, and I was making my changes, and then using the Heroku command line, just saying git push Heroku master. Um, but this is a much, much more, it's it's a better way to make sure you're not going to have to pull code out after it goes right into production. Um, because once you test it on the review apps environment, and then you also test it on the staging environment, but by the time you're actually in production, that code's pretty good. It's been went over pretty thoroughly. Um, so it's, it's definitely going to stop a lot of bugs. So I just want to show people how awesome Heroku is and this new pipelines feature. Um, I'm going to probably make a couple more videos on uh, just getting a Heroku app up and then building this pipelines um, feature. It's actually really easy. So if you want to uh, learn more, go ahead and hit my subscribe button on the uh, Web Developer Ninja YouTube channel.